Hello everybody, today I will be showing you which app I use for note taking, uh, for digital note taking and how I do it and I will be showing you an example of it. So the app's name is Notion and I just want to tell you this video is not sponsored by Notion. So this is Notion, so this, this is my workspace. So this is the first one which is a default setting by Notion, given by Notion. How can you edit and write and make a template and etc. Then you can make calendars. So this is the calendar for this month. And this is one chapter I wrote. These are various chapters I wrote from my textbook and other sources. And this is about the research I did on Sonic Boom, which recently occurred here in Bangalore. And this is the chapter I'll be I'll be talking about today. So this is about forests. So in Notion, you can just add a new page. You can add an icon, which will be related to your you know topic, or you can upload an image. Like if I have to upload an image, I would have done it like this. So my image is uploaded. Now I can add a cover. So it gives icons and covers randomly and I can change them and I can search them. Well, if I would like to keep this one. This is my cover. Now this will be my title here. And if I enter, I can add many databases. Now if I add a slash, it opens this pop-up menu. So I can add text, I can make a page, I can embed a page, you can make a to-do list. These are the three types of headings. Now what's a toggle list? I'll be showing it to you. But if we go front, we can embed videos. I'll show you how. So this is just one chapter I had made. So I, I just typed down some points to remember. And I made a toggle list. So what is this? This is a toggle list. Now, if I just tap it like this, it opens its hidden content. And this is what it is. So, so here I had embedded some videos from crash course related to my topic so let's get back so this is everything and if I want I can add a calendar a Kanban board a table a gallery a list and many more things and these are some places where I can embed files from PDFs Google Maps Google Drive Twitter, Twitter and then get GIT Hub and then Google Maps, Figma, Abstract and there's even Whimsical. There's so many of them and I can even add color to the text so they're like a rainbow of colors and if I don't want color to the text I can add background to the text which looks like the text highlighted. So let's just get back to the chapter. So the topic I took is forests are lifeline and I just took these points which I have shown it to you. These points were taken from my Baiju's tablet and I just went through the whole chapter and and then I wrote down so this is my my note taking process. First I go to the chapter. I read the chapter in my study material given by the school and also my tablet. Then I write down the main points. In this case, the points that you see are just a little bit modified than from what I wrote. So these are the, this is the final one. And to keep a track of what I do, I use a website called Trello.
so i can just show it to you so this is trello so this is my board this is my timetable board so this is how it is so now um, since the forest chapter was in biology i made a card so this is my checklist so this is what i did i completed this and we even completed these so that is how you can use trello or if you want you can even use google docs which is a very good website by google well google is good so so if we start off we have forest our lifeline some things to remember about forest forest pluck out co2 and for themselves and give us nice and cool oxygen to breathe so carbon dioxide taken in by photosynthesis oxygen given out in photosynthesis then we have 80000 plus species of edible plants plant life which exists including bananas apples tomatoes carrots etc then we have 70000 plus species of medicinal plants which exist which can be named extract from leaf fever few extract from a leaf garlic from the cloves and roots ginger from its roots ginkgo from its leaves ginseng from its roots and golden seal from its roots and rhizome then we have forests cover almost 30% of land area on earth so as you can see these forests play an important role in the water cycle on the earth they are home to many or most of the animals in the wildlife and one out of every six people depend on the forest for their livelihood which is great and also bad for them then 80% of all original forests are clean for human greed some reasons for these for the this clearance are agriculture industrialization farming and creating pastures for cattle now pastures are just land where you go gra- grow grass and then like you can see in this picture in the cover so it's just that you grow a lots of grass on a piece of land and you get your cattle over it for grazing now 68% of all plant species are in danger of getting extinct 50 5000 times faster than they should now that is not good In Brazil 73.2% of natural forest is cleared and occupied in pastures. Now that is also not good. Now consequences of deforestation. One of the consequences are an increase of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and surroundings. And then it can be an increase in temperature and pollution levels. disturbance in water cycle takes place as forests play a very important role in the water cycle very frequent droughts may take place a decrease in water holding capacity of the soil around us lowering in the level of ground water in the underground water table or water chambers with droughts there will be also there will also be floods as there will be no roots of trees to hold the water and also the soil resulting decrease and eventually loss of soil fertility So this was the chapter for today and my note digital note taking process hope you like the video and one thing one recommendation for everyone is that stay at home and just stay safe and you just get time to be with your family so and if you're a bachelor you can you just get time for yourself so stay home stay safe